Hey everybody, someone to see here. I just want to show you guys uh, some of the South African stuff that I have bought for my collection. It's I went from uh, rags to riches, you know, having nothing or one or tiny little piece to a bunch. So uh, I want to show you some chest rigs too that I have and some vest, and uh, I'll explain them when uh, I get to them. Uh, okay, we'll start out with this and that, which is a uniform with pants in there. That came from Frank. This is his badge, one of his badges. Let me see if I can get his name in there. I can't really. That's pretty badass. South African Police Service. And he said on their ser service shirt it would go up here like that. And then I watched some videos on YouTube about it, and that's where it was. But they, I don't think they wear them when they're camouflage. And this is the uh, collar insignia for their shirt, too. So, thanks, Frank. <clears throat> and I got this. Pacifico from Botswana, dated 1992, vest, uh, it takes plates, level 3, and uh, I got that from the same guy I got this from, which is Mr. Quentin Greeby, in Pretoria, and then this jacket is a larger size bush jacket, see this one says Holtzhausen, and this one says Geringer. At least that's the way I would pronounce it. And this one's from 79. And this one is, they're made to the same manufacturer. I think this one's 1980. Yeah, 1980. Can't really see it, but it's there. I wouldn't lie to you. And then uh, the guy I got this from, I got this from. And this is the South African Defense Force chest rig <clears throat> for the R4 rifle, which is a 223 version, pretty much of an AK-47, but glorified by the Israelis <clears throat> and used by the South Africans and many other nations. And it looks something like this. Some of them have the wood foregrips with the bipod. But mine's the American assembled a version of it. But it's pretty nice. Shoots good. And uh, I just got a birthday gift of some new magazines. And my friend got me this. And now, tell me how ridiculous is that? Holy shit. Wow. That's a 35 rounder. What do you think that is? Anyway, that's incredible. It also doubles as a bipod. But, uh... Brand new. It was packed with cosmoline. I had to take kerosene and literally clean it off. And I'm still not done. It's got it in the little nooks and crannies. But they were like this. They were like that. And they kind of look like they were rusted. But it's like cosmoline and dirt. You wipe them down with kerosene, they look brand new. And I paid... Same price for each one. I got one for good measure. You know, to go to the range, I only got to load up three. Hmm. 160 rounds or so. Anyway, that's the R4, aka the Galil, aka the Galani, uh, aka a couple other things, probably, I'm sure. But they're actually really good guns. It's like an uh, 223. AK.
AK's little brother. But uh, yeah, this is a, a very nice vest. And it actually can hold AK-47 magazines, too. Uh, this is... A, but it'll hold six AK mags, 30 rounders. Just as easily and without discomfort. I actually put extra ammo in my side case. Because what's the point of having a gun today? You ain't got no ammo. You can use these up rather quickly. I've noticed when you do rapid fire, but, you know, I'll probably put some more ammo in there, too. Because I'd wear a camel back. I wouldn't need a canteen. But, uh, that's just like a, a real nice piece. It's from 1983. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, when I got this, I ordered this, um... I also ordered stuff from this guy, which was the Portuguese stuff that I received back in early January. I just got this today. That shipped ground. It took forever. Don't ever ship ground from Africa. But um, this is Budman's new equipment for his L1A1. It's, uh, it's a British kit, or I guess it was British surplus sold to the South Africans. But it's got his bedroll made out of nutria and it's like nylon and like kind of padded so blood man has never seen this yet because it came to my house and here's a canteen and it has one mag pouch and you could put some FAL mags in the side here too on each side it's pretty nice he's gonna have to like open it up for him because he's a lot larger than me but he knows it and now it's all his this is a uh, like a old old pack from the 60s and 70s. That's from the 80s. This is actually from the 60s. This is my AK chess rig. Chicom stayed at 1970 on the back. It's got a bunch of jet uh, Vietnamese writing on it right there. So this is not like a repop. But um it's pretty cut and dry. Holds three AK mags rather well. I've actually seen these hold 40 rounders. And I've actually seen them double 30 and double 40. But not in the States. I was lucky to get this one. I didn't really even know what it was. But anyway, on the side here is I would put boxes of 20 round am ammunition. 20, 20, 20, and 20. It's at least enough to fill a couple mags. But, uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah. This is the... This is the Portuguese one, but it's from South Africa. It's for the R4. Remember, I had it in another video. It's got a backpack and on a bedroll. Um, where's the... Oh, this is my... Let me get this one out of here. This is the one that the GIs used. When I was in the ROTC, we had to use the old Alice equipment, but after I got out, I, I bought this later. Holds six AR-15 mags, a couple grenades, but, you know, I never had grenades <laughs> as a civilian, so I just put, like, extra mag ammo in there, too. <clears throat> That's a nice nice one. It came out... Uh, the first time I saw one of these was back in, like, 85. And uh, I got the picture from our guard unit and that's it says providing leaders the decisive edge and that's what it is and that was the new get up we didn't have it though we had the old house equipment but anyway I hope you guys get to just the some of the African stuff so hope you all enjoy it I do